What we're going to be doing today is writing equations of lines parallel and perpendicular to a given line. And we'll learn some things about those and go over those things. Uh, but first we're going to learn a new type of form of a line. So far we've talked about standard form. We've also talked about slope-intercept form. And now we're going to talk about point-slope form. Point-slope form is mostly useful to write equations of lines. We can, as we saw in the last lesson, just use slope-intercept form, but point-slope form is set up nicely if you know the slope of the line and a point that it goes through, and then you can just plug it right into that form, and then usually you, you change it into another form, whether it's slope-intercept or standard form. So point-slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m, which is the slope, times the quantity x minus x sub 1. And y and x are just like our y and x in y equals mx plus b. x sub 1 and y sub 1 are the values, the x value and y value of a point that the line goes through. And I mentioned this before, we don't usually leave an equation in point slope form. It's usually change to slope intercept form or to standard form. So here I have a reminder of what point-slope form is. And then use point-slope form of a linear equation to write the equation of a line passing through the points 5, negative 5, 2 and 3, negative 4 in both slope-intercept form and standard form. So we're going to do that and what we'll do, we'll use point-slope form. So we see here that we have y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Now what we need to do here first is we want to find the slope. We're not given the slope here. We're given two points. So we're going to find the slope and we remember that slope. So we're going to take a little pause here, do some work. Slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We'll plug in our values. So we'll put in negative 4, so y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which is 2, over x sub 2. 3 minus negative 5. And that gives us a negative 6 over a positive 8, which reduces to negative 3 fourths. And so we found the slope of the line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this equation and one of our points. It doesn't matter which one. So let's just use the first one. So we have y minus y sub 1, which is 2, equals m, so m, which is our slope, which is negative 3 fourths, times x minus our x value, which is negative 5. So there's point slope form, but what we're going to do is we're going to change it to slope intercept form and then change it to standard form. So to change it to slope intercept form, We'll, we'll go through our algebra here. We know, and maybe you could have, that's a 3 fourths. We got an x plus 5. We'll distribute that negative 3 fourths. So we have y minus 2 equals negative 3 fourths x uh, minus 15 fourths. And then we'll add 2 to both sides. Well, this 2 here, we're going to want this with a denominator of 4. So we'll go ahead and uh, multiply this by 4 over 4, which is 8 fourths. And so we're going to do negative 15 fourths plus 8 fourths to get our left side. So we have y equals negative 3 fourths x. Negative 15 fourths plus 8 fourths is negative 7 fourths. And so there's part of our answer. y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 7 fourths. Now what we want to do is we want standard form. I'm going to rewrite what we just found. And we want to remember that standard form, we want the x and y on the left side constants on the right side, and we don't want fractions. So let's go ahead and get rid of fractions right now. 
we'll do that by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator, which when we multiply both sides, we can multiply each term by that. And so we get 4y equals, when we multiply here, the 4 is reduced, so we have negative 3x. Same thing here, minus 7. And to get this in standard form, we're going to add 3x to both sides. And that way we'll have the x's and y's on one side. And our constant on the other. Remember a couple things that we wanted with standard form. We would like our a to be positive, which it is. I should have reminded you that standard form is ax plus by is equal to c. So left on the left side we have our x term and our y term. On the right side we have the constant term. And so we can use this point slope form to write equations of lines. It's just another way to do it. We're going to do a little bit of an investigation here and then we'll do a couple examples. So lines in the same plane that have no points in common are parallel lines. So this first line is the definition or a definition. Lines in the same plane that have no points in common. So here on the right are parallel lines. What do you notice about the steepness of the parallel lines? So is one steeper than the other? Um, if so, which one? Well, we notice here that they're the same steepness. So parallel lines have the same steepness, but what measures steepness? Hopefully you remember that slope measures steepness. So we can conclude that parallel lines have equal slopes. They're the same steepness, they have equal slopes. So if we knew the, par the slope of this one, if we knew it was negative one half, then we would also know this is negative one half because they have equal slopes. And now we can use this fact to write equations of lines that are parallel. Well, first of all, this one says determine whether lines 5x minus 2y equals 12 and negative 5 halves x plus y equals 10 are parallel. Well, in order to do that, what we can do, we don't have to graph them, we can just find their slopes. An easy way to find slope is to put things in slope intercept form. So we'll take the 5x minus 2y equals 12. We'll put that in slope-intercept form. So we'll subtract 5x from both sides. And we have negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 12. And dividing both sides by negative 2, which is the same as dividing each term by negative 2, gives us y equals Negative divided by a negative is positive, so we can write 5 halves x minus 6. The reason we did this is because we can easily know the slope. So the slope of this one is 5 halves. So if the, the slope of this one's 5 halves, if we find the slope of the other line is 5 halves, then we know they're parallel. Well, we're going to put this in slope-intercept form also, and then we can easily see what the slope of this one is. And so here, we just want to solve for y, so we would add 5 halves x to both sides. And even just thinking through that, without doing all the work, you'll know that the slope is 5 halves. So it will end up equaling y equals 5 halves x plus 10. Here's our slope. Are the slopes the same? Yes, they're both 5 halves, so they are parallel. So we know those two lines are parallel. So we use the fact that parallel lines have equal slopes to determine if lines are parallel. We can also use that fact to write equations of lines. So write the slope intercept form of a line that passes through negative 2, 8 and is parallel to this line right here. So this is a line in standard form. The line that we want is parallel to this line. So what do we know what is true about them? We know they have equal slopes. So if we find the slope of this line, we know the sl slope of the line we want to work with. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of this line. And I'm just going to do the work here. I'm going to put it in slope-intercept form. 
and because that will be easy to tell what the slope is, divide each term by negative 2, and the slope of our line is a positive 3 halves, because a negative divided by a negative is positive. This part right here doesn't matter at all. We just know that the slope that we're working with, so the line we want is parallel to this one, the slope of this one is 3 halves, so the slope of the line we're working with is 3 halves. So we'll write slope is 3 halves, and it's passing the point negative 2, 8. In the last lesson, we learned to write equations of a line where we know the slope and, the, and a point. We also, from this, we're going to use our new equation. We, we can use either, but our new form is point-slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. And we're using this because we know the point and the slope. So we have y minus our y value, which is 8, equals m, which was 3 halves, times x minus our x value, which is negative 2. We know that minus a negative here is really a positive. So we can distribute. We have y minus 8 equals 3 halves x. 3 halves times 2, the 2's cancel, so we have 3. So we distributed that 3 halves. And then we'll add 8 to both sides. And we have y equals 3 halves x plus 11. And we found the equation of a line, the slope-intercept form of a line that passes through negative 2, 8, and is parallel to this line. So what we did is we used the fact that it was parallel to this. That helped us find the slope of the line we wanted because we found the slope of this line and they're parallel, so the slopes are equal. We knew it went through this point, and then we used our new form. We could have also just equaled y, used y equals mx plus b and, and uh, do what we learned in the last lesson where we can plug in the 8 for y, the slope, which was 3 halves, times x, which is negative 2, plus b. We could have solved for b, so this is 8. Multiplying these two, you end up getting negative 3, plus b adding 3 to both sides. You get 11 equals b. So y equals m, which was 3 halves, x, plus our y-intercept, which is 11. So either way, you can use point-slope form or slope-intercept form to help find the equation of that line. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to look at perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines, the definition, they are lines that intersect to form right angles. Here we're going to do a little quick investigation, uh, find the slopes of the perpendicular lines to the right. So these two lines are perpendicular, they intersect at a right angle, and so find their slopes. So the slope of this red line is, let's start at this point, we go down 1, 2, so the slope is negative 2, rise over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that slope is negative 2 fifths. For this other line, almost looks purplish maybe, the slope will start here. Our rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the run is 1, 2. So one of our lines, the slope is negative 2 fifths, the other one is 5 halves. Now what do you notice about these two? These, there's two things to notice. First of all, one of them's negative and one of them's positive. So their signs are opposite. And then they are reciprocals of each other. So what we can say here, the slopes of perpendicular lines are, we can say negative reciprocals or opposite, let's say opposite reciprocals. or negative reciprocal, which you see here, I use the term negative reciprocal. 
So just a quick practice, find the negative reciprocal of the following numbers. To find the negative reciprocal, this tells us you're going to switch the sign. So if it's positive, you're going to make it negative. If it's negative, you're going to make it positive. And reciprocal means you're going to switch the numerator and denominator. So the negative reciprocal, now don't write don't write in equals here because they are not equal. We'll put an arrow and say the negative reciprocal, this is positive, so we want a negative, and we want the reciprocal, which is 5 thirds. Here, the reciprocal, the opposite or negative reciprocal, this one's negative, so ours is going to be positive, which we don't have to put the plus, and then the reciprocal is 6 over 7. This one does not look like a fraction, so what we can do, we can make it look like a fraction by putting it over 1. And this is a negative number, because it's a negative 2 over 1. And so our reciprocal, again, don't use an equal because they're not equal to each other. It's going to be reciprocal of this. And this one was negative, so this one's positive. This one be really careful with. Don't try to take the reciprocal of a mixed number first. I'm going to put an equals here because these are equal. I'm going to change this to an improper fraction. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is actually negative 7 halves. And the opposite or negative reciprocal of negative 7 halves is positive 2 sevenths. And so those are negative reciprocals, and we're going to use that fact here shortly. Got an example here. Uh, write the slope intercept form of an equation of a line perpendicular to y equals negative 2x plus 3 and passes through the point 3, negative 4. Let's go ahead and use our point slope form y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Our slope goes in here. Well, the, the line we want is perpendicular to this line. The slope of this line is negative 2, so the slope of the line that we want is the opposite or negative reciprocal. So we want it to be positive, and the reciprocal of negative 2 is 1 half. So we use this slope in our equation. So we're going to put 1 half. We have y minus our y value, which is negative 4, equals 1 half x minus our x value, which is 3. And then we'll work through this. We have y minus negative 4, which is a positive 4. We'll distribute. So we have y plus 4 equals 1 half x. Multiplying here, we can think of this over 1. So we get negative 3 halves. We can think of this as a negative 1 and a half. doing that because I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And it's easy to subtract these. And I'm going to go ahead and write our answer over here. y equals, we have 1 half x, and then a negative 1 and a half minus 4 is a negative 5 and a half. And so that is the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this line and passes through this point. And looking here, I can tell they're perpendicular because this slope is negative 2. This slope is its negative reciprocal. In conclusion, parallel lines are lines in the same plane that have no points in common. Parallel lines have equal slopes. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect to form right angles, and their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So are the graphs of the following lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, let's find their slopes. So let's subtract 2x from here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in slope-intercept form so we know the slopes. So this is 5y equals negative 2x plus 9. Dividing each term by 5 would give us y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 9 fifths. What we're concerned with here, since we're trying to determine parallel, perpendicular, or neither, is we're looking at their slopes. So the slope of this one is negative 2 fifths. And subtracting 4x from both sides here, we see that we have y equals negative 4x plus 1. And this slope is negative 4. Are they equal? Well, no, they're not equal, so it's not parallel. 
are they opposite or negative reciprocals? Well, they are not. They're both negative, so they're not negative reciprocals. And so the answer here is neither. All right, so that's, we learned uh, point-slope form of a line, and we learned the relationship between parallel lines, their slopes are equal, and perpendicular lines, the slopes are negative reciprocals.